Hi, I'm Leslie with Seventh Bone Tailoring, and today I'm going to show you how to embellish a plain white shirt, as I saw off a runway. What you're going to start with is some kind of ornate rope. It doesn't have to be this fancy. It's I really wanted a contrast between the white, so I'm just going to play for a couple of minutes, and then I'm trying to figure out how far down I want. Um, my pieces to go and if I want them to go in a triangle or all the way down and I think what I'm going to do is just really set it so that it gets smaller as it goes down like in the photo. So now that I've kind of figured out the pattern that I want I started to pin it down and don't really feel intimidated by which direction your pins go usually when you sew they go up and down with all these curves it's kind of tricky so you can kind of play around until something feels right and I found a lot of times when I'm sewing that um, I have to adjust the fabric underneath. If you end up using a shirt that is really sheer, you're going to want to iron on some inner facing on the back so that it gives you a little bit uh, of a stiffness to your fabric and it'll make pinning easier and sewing on easier. Um, my fabric's already thick so I don't need that. And then I'm just going to continue to make these loops. And it doesn't have to be perfect. When you start to sew too, it'll actually look a lot better than what it seems on here. So. And then um, just go under like this flap. Down. And I'm going to try to make mine get smaller as I go. So I have my pieces pinned and I literally, I'm just going to start at the beginning point and start stitching around. Just picking a point over here to start. And start in back stitch. I want to make sure my area is flat and just check this as I'm working that it doesn't move. Whichever shape you made, sometimes you go down and back around and you find yourself back at the beginning and that's okay. Just stop and back stitch and then just start over again at a new placement. So it won't really feel like you can go in a repetitive pattern. It's just kind of like wherever it feels natural. Um, I'm using a lighter thread because it blends in with this metallic. Um, again, you're welcome up to use your creative freedom. I've completed the one side. Um, I stitched it all down and I'm very happy with it. And what I want to do is I want to mimic it on the other side. So I um, want to take the collar and make sure that it's even here. And sometimes you can just put little pins and you can go all the way through the fabric. So that I can make sure that the spacing's correct. And just by looking at it, I know that this one here gets a little smaller. So I want to back this up a little bit. There you go. And a lot of the time is just the patience and pinning and making sure that the placement's correct. And then I'm just gonna finish here, going down to the next one, and then I'm gonna stitch it. And actually, just um, because I wanna make sure it's even, I am only gonna stitch halfway through and then go back and check my garment and then stitch again. And I'm only gonna do one round of stitching and then once I'm completely done, I'm very happy with it, then I'll go back and make sure all the corners are down and I stitch on the inside. Um, like I had said before, sometimes this, when you're going in the pattern, you'll end up back at your stitch. You can just stop and start again. And then I just went through and made sure that everything is stitched down and it's secure. I did half of it and kind of feel as if it was going um, in the wrong direction. So now I'm going back and just fixing it. And um, that way if I have to pull, um, unstitch it, I only have one stitch right now. And then I can just go back and fix it and just mimic this side. So 
So I'm just stitching down the last part of this detail. Um, and the most important thing is while you're stitching to make sure that your needle is down and using the wheel and using your needle to pivot off of, especially on all these tight turns. And don't be afraid to walk your machine. I always feel with my Bernina, I have a lot of control over my stitches. off the extra and uh, I'm just going through and seeing if there's any pieces that pull up and that need a little bit more love and need to be sewn down and I found two here and definitely this one so just make sure that you go and double check um, and this is a good time to snip I had to start and stop a few times so I went through with my tiny scissors and just clipped all the little threads you're almost done tips and tricks with 7th Bone Tailoring, tune in to Bernina's website, www.weallsew.com.